this. Uh, a New Year's Eve prayer service at a small North Carolina church had quite the scare when an unidentified war veteran suffering post-traumatic stress disorder just walked into the church armed with a gun. The pastor, Larry Wright, a retired army drill sergeant, asked the man, can I help you? The gunman said, can you pray for me? That's when Wright successfully took the man's gun and invited him to join the service. In the front pew, there were no charges filed. Priests for Life, Alveda King runs that organization. She's with me now. Alveda, what a pleasure to have you on the show. What do you make of that incident with the pastor just disarming a congregant? I believe that's a wonderful Happy New Year message, Varney. I, it's just, that's the way that life should be. Those of us who pray and who are spiritual and who love humanity can see the pain of a gunman and just say, may I help you, rather than screaming, running, or throw him out or something right. like that. So that was heart control. That wasn't gun control. That was heart control. I just commend Pastor Larry and his congregation, and I'm glad that the veteran could get some prayer because we love our veterans as well. To some degree... It reminds me of the church in the Carolinas where a young white man walked in and shot black people at prayer in a service in the church, that man right there. The response of that community was very Christian. It was to turn the other cheek and forgive. I think that's another example of the power of prayer, is it not? That is the power of prayer. Of course, we remember at that tragic juncture, several lost their lives. But, you know, if they were here today, they would tell you, we know where we were going to heaven, of course. And they forgave. And it, it sent that that incident did a whole wave of forgiveness, reconciliation, repentance, uh, a racist symbol uh, being addressed there. So I believe that this is a good way to start the new year, uh, believing in prayer, the power of prayer, the power of God's love, overcoming evil with good. That's the way I was raised, you know, in the King family, Martin Luther King, my daddy AD, uh, daddy King, mama King. We were taught to love and forgive. So what a powerful message. And I was very grateful to, to wake up to that news today. It was wonderful. Alveda, thank you very much for coming on the program and telling our viewers this good news today. It's much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, thank you.